This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. This place hasn't changed as much as I expected. <laughs> There's a girl from my past. Yes, yes, Marty, exactly. There's always, in any dating sim or visual novel, there's always, like, the girl you knew from long ago. Like, always. I mumbled to myself, feeling my way through vaguely familiar streets. And during a several-hour train ride from Mishima Cape, I returned to this place for the first time in many years. Why would Sachi go here? Like... What is going on with her brain if she actually was like, I'll go, like, a several-hour train ride to this place and meet you here, even though you're definitely talking about the classroom. Like, I, I don't get this. <laughs> I seem to go for said girls, too. Sachi Kotomi. Don't forget Sayori. <laughs> Sayori was best girl. <laughs> this is the town where I was born. In my earliest years, before my master took custody of me, I lived here with my parents and sister. Never thought I'd be coming back here, much less looking for Sachi. The only constant in life is its unpredictability. Slowing my pace, I move carefully forward, guided only by faded memories. The usual place that came to mind when all the reasonable answers failed was a small park. My one and only childhood playground, situated on the outskirts of this town. I played Doki Doki on here? I didn't play it on here, I just played it casually. Loki Monica's best? Uh, no. Monica's worst. She's a murderer. <laughs> Here we go. The area around the park is thoroughly deserted, and the streetlights outside are dimmed to an absolute minimum. It's a small playground designed to give young children a place to romp around on sunny days, so that's all is expected. There's no way anybody would be using this playground on a miserable rainy, rainy evening like this one. That would be the common sense conclusion, but... Hold on. I recall Amine's words from this morning. We all knew what Sachi was like. We knew she was bizarrely obedient. We knew she was prone to making strange mistakes as a result of subtle misunderstandings. But we'd all assumed those quirks were nothing more than a reflection of her diligent personality. We all assumed she would bend those rules of hers if it ever became truly necessary. That's exactly why I don't want her to be here. Much as I want to find Sachi, those words spill out of my mouth. And contradictory as it might seem, I really mean them. If Sachi's here, my initial concerns about her behavior were justified. My vague unease will become something far more concrete, far harder to face. Given any choice in the matter, I don't want that to happen. No, I can't afford to worry about that right now. Forcibly persuading myself to refocus on the problem at hand, I finally enter the park. And once inside that dim, desolate playground, my eyes quickly find a small figure illuminated by moonlight. Sachi. She- wow. She actually is here. Why were you waiting here in the rain for 24 straight hours? Like, seriously, why? Th there's something wrong with this girl. The swing set's a tiny thing, made for the use of young children. Crammed into the undersized wooden seat, indifferent to her rain-soaked clothes, Sachi looks up at me and smiles. Have you been waiting here since yesterday? Without even eating? In the rain, all this time? Idiot! It's too much for me to endure. She's just too pitiful right now. Before I know it, I'm shouting down at her. It's Nagisa all over again? She waited in the rain for, like, one hour. Not 24 hours. <laughs> of course I'm angry! Why? Didn't you realize I wasn't coming? Didn't you realize something was off? Why didn't you just leave? Why the hell did you sit here all this time just to keep some worthless promise? Wow, Marty! Savage! <laughs> Nagisa was not dumb! <laughs> wow. That's cutting. <laughs> An intimate tone, 
completely unlike the formal style of speech Sachi usually employs. And that vaguely embarrassing nickname. The combination resonates nostalgically with memories rendered fuzzy and indistinct by the passage of time. Sachi was different back then, wasn't she? <laughs> nah, he said did some stupid stuff and got sick for it a lot. When did she get sick for doing something stupid? I guess you could say waiting out in the rain to play basketball was, like, one thing. But the rest of it was not her fault, though. <laughs> Sachi's words. The connections I'm drawing have to be real. Why would you pick up other people's trash? So my guess was correct after all. You and I didn't meet for the first time in the Mahama dormitory. Sachi confirms my words casually, as if it was the most obvious thing in the world. Of course, her mere presence in this place is proof enough. Sachi, how long have you known? Did they know each other's names when they were kids? Because I feel like they should have remembered those. What? <laughs> what? That was enough to convince you? Whoa, we're getting the love confession already. Actually, we've been playing this game for like 60 hours, so... <laughs> In other words, Sachi realized some time ago and kept quiet until now. Why, why didn't you... Why would she not mention it? Why would she do this? Ugh. Then, why didn't you say anything? I'm asking you why you didn't tell me about all this. If I had known, I might have remembered this place much more quickly, right? What? We were talking about... This... Okay, this is ridiculous, even for Sachi. Like, we were talking about, like, hey, let's postpone studying. Okay, we'll meet at 5 p.m. in the usual spot. For the studying. What? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. It didn't occur to you. We weren't talking about playing, we were talking about studying. I would face palm, but then the headset would break. She obviously has a mental condition. Even so, like I mean, that's true, but that still seems kind of far-fetched, like the Pokemon. Are you serious? So many things happened so fast back then. The details are still fuzzy for me, but Sachi's memories of the time we spent together don't seem to have faded, and this playground is clearly a very important place to her. But even so... <laughs> She should go to the Kadawa so Shoujo at Universe. I thought that was just for people who are physically disabled. Maybe I'm wrong. I see. Come to think of it, Sachi's always been like this. Silently carrying out her orders like a faithful robot. Never expressing doubt or interjecting with her own opinion. Never advancing her own interests. If only explanation that makes sense is that she actually is a robot. <laughs> <laughs> the rare exceptions come only when Sachi judges it strictly necessary. Even then, she's usually just seeking clarification. There's no longer any doubt in my mind. Those rules have to be the very reason Sachi ended up at Mahama Academy. 
In other words, it's all exactly as I feared. Ask how Misha got in? I thought she got in just because she was training to work with disabled people. <laughs> this school basically is the Katawa Shoujo school just for mental stuff. <laughs> and then, well, actually no. Every person in the school is really weird. Even Yuji. <laughs> but arguably, especially Yuji. Okay, n next time, make sure you got a working cell phone before you do something like this. Because I am sad, idiot. What, aren't you? By the way, Sachi, like, you're gonna be so sore from sitting in that tiny little swain for 24 hours. Happy? <laughs> you were just a little late. <laughs> just a couple tens of hours, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Also, if anyone's going to catch hypothermia, it's going to be Sachi, because she was literally out in the rain for 24 hours. I thought you were kidnapped, you know, by Nasty Jack. As Sachi smiles up at me, I finally realize something. The one thing about this girl that truly resembles me is the way she smiles. An artificial thing, plastered on for the sake of lubricating social interactions. An attempt to put others at ease rather than a reflection of any real emotion. Oh, <laughs> you, both <laughs> you both have Joker smiles. Maybe she's not lying. Maybe she really is happy. But whatever the case, that smile is hollow. How many times have I seen this expression on her face, and I'm only realizing now? Pathetic. No, maybe it's not surprising I didn't notice. I've managed to fool plenty of people the same exact way. It's a skill that develops with practice. We get- alright. No, that's not the only thing that matters, Sachi. It really isn't. Rising unsteadily to her feet, Sachi reaches up and brings her hand to rest on top of my head. Interesting. <laughs> and that's when Sachi pulled out the Uno reverse card. Is this just going to be the thing, like, instead of kissing each other, we just give each other head pats? I'm actually kind of cool with that. <laughs> Maybe it's sheer surprise. Maybe some part of me wants Fane's to stay like this for a little longer. I can't tell for sure. Whatever the case, my body's frozen in place under the gentle movements of that small hand. Sachi, what are you... Uh, I showed up, it was just 24 hours late. A little more than that. I didn't? <laughs> back, back then, Sachi had, like, black hair with streaks, tattoos all over her body. <laughs> she was she was the bad girl. It's like, this was, like, literally 15 years ago. Oh, well. Wait, no, that's not right. I think Sachi's only 15 years old in this game. <laughs> This soundtrack is top tier, by the way. Sachi! <laughs> you killed the soundtrack! I catch Sachi in my arms as she collapses forward. The last of her strength found. Oh, I thought you were just gonna start, like, verbally ripping into her. No. Oh, look, she caught hypothermia. Also, we're gonna get you some Culver's. Actually, no. You need you need to be filled up. We're going to Arby's. Nothing to apologize for. Don't push yourself. Yeah, it's almost like you've been sitting in a children's swing for 25 hours. Hard 
Part of me surprising after sitting through that rainstorm without eating or drinking. At a quick estimate, Sachi's been in this place 28 hours straight. Wow! And I'm willing to bet that she didn't even allow herself to take a nap the whole time she was waiting for me. No matter how sturdy the girl is, she might she must be well past the limits of her physical endurance by now. Sachi! Good grief! Just... No! You don't need to worry about that, either. The only thing you promised me was to wait until I showed up. And you kept that promise. You can rest now. No, bad Nick. No. With those words and a particularly weak attempt at a smile, Sachi instantly falls unconscious. Within seconds, she's gone totally limp, leaving me to bear her full weight in my arms. It's only then that I finally realize just how alarmingly cold her body is. I, f I thought he was going to be talking about... It's only then I realize how heavy she is. It's like, no. no. The girl's clearly in bad shape, to the point that she needs medical attention and quickly. <laughs> Spark closer! <laughs> Take me to the hospital! <laughs> Even so, the expression on her face as she sleeps seems genuinely happy. In a way, that artificial smile never, never was. I may be a pretty pitiful excuse for a human being, but maybe, just maybe, there's something I can do for this girl. You're a hell of a lot tougher than you look, Sachi. After brushing a few drops of rainwater from Sachi's face, I pull out my cell phone and call Chizuru. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, my parents are moving, and Mr. Sipple is taking our place. It's not my fault. Even after hearing Sachi's story, this is about as much as I can remember. As children, we parted abruptly. Our burgeoning friendship was cut off without warning. That must have happened when I was forced to move away after all my sister's death. That much makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. I don't think I knew that he moved away after that, but... Oh, yeah. I was actually kind of joking about that, but... Oh, okay. But there's still one part of all of this that I find completely inexplicable. I understand that Sachi has to be the same person who played with me as a child. But the girl in my memories was energetic and strong-willed in the extreme. A little spoiled, even. Her personality and way of speaking were totally unlike the Sachi I know today. Of course, people naturally change as they grow up, but I don't know of many transformations that dramatic. Something must have triggered such a radical shift. I'd guess that something is connected to our conversation back then, but... There's no way to know for sure until I learn more about Sachi's past. With what happened over the last two days, I think that's become a nece uh, n necessary. Hey, stars are pretty. Ah, Chizuru. <laughs> yeah, but fresh air. Sorry, felt like getting some air. So? Dropping the line of questioning, Chizuru walks up to stand at my side. Thanks, Principal. Appreciate it. Sorry to push all the work on you. True enough. She's got four dedicated nurses at the moment. I think she'll be all right. Women don't like having men ogle them as they sleep, right? I'm not sure if he was actually joking about that or not. Blame my sister. I inherited it from her. But anyway, I... Right. Remember what you told me a little while ago? How you don't expect me to do anything in particular for this school or its students? I've got a follow-up question. Are you willing to let me get involved on a voluntary basis? Good to know. 
Almost sounds like she was expecting this from the very start. Guess there's a reason she's able to get by sitting around and sipping expensive tea all day. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the French don't drink tea. <laughs> Huh. No, but I didn't come to this school for duty or profit. You might say I'm here precisely because I wanted something more than that. I wanted more, much more than this provincial life. Right. I wanted to understand the meaning of the words my master left me. Also, in a way, I owe Sachi my life. <laughs> One time, my room was so dirty. Like, you wouldn't even believe and she cleaned it for me. Sachi and I knew each other as kids, and it's probably thanks to her that I managed to push my way through the worst of it. Not surprising. I just remembered a little while ago myself. Lowering her hand from the fence, Chizuru turns to face me. Circumstances aside, simple truth is, Kasachi caught my interest as she is today. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, she already confessed her love to us, so... <laughs> Bring me the files of Hector Zeroni. Like I said before, that won't be necessary. That would be rude. That's not it, Ivor. I'll handle this my way! <laughs> In this case, maybe it's a pointlessly roundabout method, but I've gotten by it with all this time, so I'm going to stick with what I know. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Blatantly evading the question, Chizuru offers me a composed smile. Alright, I think it's about time I get going. I'm counting on it, Principal Tachibana. Well then, stepping outside to the school grounds, I retrieve my cell phone from my pocket. Yuji, you were supposed to go to work last night! <laughs> Even if it does ultimately come down to asking for someone's help, I'll stick to the methods I trust most. If I want to change something, to accomplish something meaningful, I think that's the way it has to be. Julia, I need a favor. Oh boy. Relax, she just needs some more gasoline for her robot. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. Well, Makina's shipping us. <laughs> Yumiko, not so much. Oh? <laughs> Oh, brother. <laughs> Who raises eels in a farm? Oh, wait, there are fish farms. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard <laughs> eel farms, I was like, I don't know why, I was just picturing the typical, like, American farm with, like, cows and sheep. It's like, <laughs> that's where we keep the eels. No, Artie, there are fish farms. <laughs> we see those on the Living with the Land in Epcot. <laughs> 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 
それより本来の面会時間はとっこに過ぎているんだしそろそろ戻った方がいいわそうね着替えとかいろいろ用意しなくちゃいけないものもあるし Add the five dollar covers gift card っていうかユージのバカはどこで何やってるのよこれはやることがあるってすぐどっかに行くことだね<笑> He just said, Sorry, I've got a thane, and then jumped out the window. Yes. Ew. すぐに戻ってくるからそれまでいい子にしてるのよ。Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. I was totally expecting her to be kidnapped, but I guess that's not happening. Mere moments after I pick up the sound of a well tuned V8 engine approaching, a familiar yellow prancing horse pulls smoothly to a halt in front of my eyes. Hey, Bimbo. After a split second later, the person I've been expecting emerges from the driver's seat. Sorry, I got a thing. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I appreciate it. When I offer a few straightforward words of thanks, JB furrows her brow. Something wrong? My bad. As JB speaks, she holds out a single manila envelope. <laughs> That's my favorite kind! <laughs> right. That's why I had to ask you, Julia. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you for this one. Don't worry, I'll treat you to some Red Robin next time we're out. <laughs> JB shrugs, shrugs her shoulders as I take the documents from her hand. It's not that I don't trust Chizuru, but I prefer to get my information from a familiar, reliable source. Well, you're not talking about the government, then. Yeah, not a problem. それぞれに問題を抱えているのは知っていたけど、その子もいろいろあったみたいね。Uh oh. I see. I was more or less expecting JB to read the documents before handing them over, but judging from her vague language, it seems there was indeed something fairly dramatic inside. これは純粋にあなたを知る友人として聞くけど、その子が抱える問題を知ってどうするつもりなの？ I'm planning a surprise party. <laughs> Don't know yet, but... If there's something I can do for her after reading these, I think I will. JB answers my words with a searching gaze, her expression unusually serious. I stare steadily back into her eyes. For a moment, there's silence between us. So, if you think about it, I don't have anything to say. You're not opposed to the idea? Yeah. Privacy. In other words, you trust me? So, ne. Kore de mo anata no koto wa yoku shitteru tsumori yo. Close enough. Nani se atashi wa anata no yujin de ari, joshi de ari, hogosa nan dakara. Oh boy. <laughs> True enough. With my master and older sister dead, JB is without a doubt the foremost living authority on the subject of me. Not his parents. His parents don't even exist. Although, from, from what he was saying, his dad sounds like an abusive jerk. Yeah, of course. That was the plan. Apparently satisfied, JB gives me a friendly thump on the shoulder as she passes by. Right. I appreciate the help, JB. 
All right, Olive Garden it is. Returning to her usual playful tone, JB deftly brushes a loose strand of her thick golden hair into place, then steps back into her car. Yeah, I'll make a note. As the prancing horse grows small in the distance, I mutter wryly to myself. After returning to the courtyard, I sit down on a nearby bench and examine the contents of the envelope JB handed me. Hmm. At a glance, it's six pages filled of text, almost certainly printed from a personal computer. So now I've got my hands on Sachi's past. What's more, I managed to obtain it quietly, from a source with absolutely no connection to these events. For JB, it was probably a simple job involving nothing more than challenging a few <laughs> nothing more challenging than a few minutes of database crawling on a neglected terminal. But this way, if and how I make use of this information is completely up to me.